<laughs> I'm making dumplings for breakfast, but I'm like not capable of making these without messing it up somehow. So this time I decided to get paper towels stuck all over them. <laughs> Like I can't get it off without peeling the outside of it off. So I might just eat paper. <laughs> so I have a lot to do today. Um, I think I'm gonna eat the one with the paper towel on first to get it over with. <laughs> I guess I could peel away the outside of the dough, but that seems like a waste. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna. It doesn't taste like anything, but I can feel it there. <laughs> I also think I let them cool too long because they're like, they're warm, but they're not hot, and I prefer they be hot. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, but I live in Spain, so I worked. And today I don't work, but my sister and my roommate do. So we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> so today I have to go run around, get everything I need to make a pie. Cause I'm making, I decided I'm gonna make a chocolate pecan pie for Thanksgiving. And so I'll have to go to the grocery store to get like eggs and stuff. And then I'll have to go to the American store to get corn syrup. And then I'll have to come home and sweep because, well, A, it just needs to be swept. Um, B, because um, people are coming over to pregame tonight. And then I might look for some Black Friday sales um, to see if there's anything I need is on sale and buy it. And then tonight I have a ballet and I've never been to a ballet before, so I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to a ballet. So I'm going to see Swan Lake tonight and that's at nine. And then it goes to like 11.45 or something like that. So basically midnight. after that, I'm going to either meet them here for pre-gaming or I'll meet them at a bar or wherever they end up. Um, I think they want to go clubbing tonight, which I don't really. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's my schedule. Um, and I just got out of the shower. So my hair is wet, which means I'm going to go outside with wet hair, which is like a cardinal sin here. But I do it all the time anyway. <laughs> So update, I went to the American store, got corn syrup. I was hoping they would have chocolate chips, but they didn't. They only had peanut butter chips. So then I went to Ibridino to get chocolate chips because I wasn't sure if they would have them in the regular Superdinos, like the smaller ones, or not. So I went to Ibridino and I was gonna get everything I needed there. Like I was gonna get like eggs and sugar and everything there. But then I realized that we were close to, that, not we, I, me and you, <laughs> were close to um, a thrift store that I've been wanting to go to. And so then I was like, I just didn't want to have extra stuff, like heavy stuff, um, to bring with me. And so, because I was like, I'm gonna, just going to walk there and then I'll walk home after. Because I live like a half hour walk from here. And so then I started walking and then I realized after I'd been walking for a while, that I was going in the wrong direction. And I was like, well, I don't really have that much time, so I'm not going to go back. So now I'm just walking home with about half the things I need. And um, I guess I'll get the rest when I'm closer to home. I also need a pie tin. I keep forgetting I need a pie tin. Okay, I'm gonna show Cynthia what I got. So, I got, well, the last thing I did, I'm gonna tell you in reverse order. The last thing I did was go to Super Eno and get eggs, <laughs> how exciting, and some sugar. And the lady in front of me in line had the same exact sugar. Copycat, I think. Um, it's in front of you, so who is the cop? <laughs> and some butter. Um, before that, I went to the bazaar right next door and got a pie plate. Uh -huh, I need to do that. And then, um, I before that went to Ibridino, the one across from the American store, and got three bags of very overpriced chocolate chips. Very, very small amount of chocolate chips in these bags. And they're more than two euros each. Okay. This pie is costing me a fortune. They're the same ones that were in Ypercore. Yeah, they're the same ones that were in Ypercore, but I was hoping that Super Dino, or that Ypercore would have different ones, and they didn't. Actually, I also was looking at them in the American store, and they didn't have them there. Um, they had only peanut butter chips there. And then the first thing I did was go to the American store and get corn syrup. So, that's all I did. I also... Um, I was gonna go to that thrift store that you went to without me, but then I ended up walking in the wrong direction and I feel like trying back, so I didn't go. 
But I did go into a different one, and I realized that the one you went in without me isn't the one that I originally planned on going in. It was a different one. I went in the like because I went in the one I originally planned on going in, but they'd like changed the sign, and I'm not even sure if it was a thrift store anymore because it looked kind of more like a little boutique type vibe. Like it didn't look used; it just looked like little trinkets and such. Um, and I didn't like that. There was nothing good there. Sophia's napping. So now I have to I have an appointment on Tuesday to get my empadronamiento, which is like I don't even know. It's like a document from the like local government that says that I live here. Um and if I have that then I can get really cheap like flights and um bus passes and stuff although they said that in 2023 the buses are going to be free anyway so maybe i'll just use it for when i go somewhere over easter break but um like since we're on an island the residents get really really cheap flights to go to the peninsula um i'm not sure if it extends to other countries too or not but um yeah so i'm going to do that and also for the ferries that go to the other islands um which i might do some weekend i don't know uh, all of my breaks have been accounted for already like for the for christmas i'm going to asturias for um easter i think we're going to italy um we haven't actually booked the tickets on that one yet but that's what we've been talking about so anyway that's what i, I have to do that appointment on tuesday i have to figure out what paperwork i need to bring to it i know i need to bring my rental contract um but i think there's a form that i have to fill out but i can't find it I literally couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. Um, granted, I did look for like two and a half minutes, but I checked the group chat of the other um, teaching assistants that live here, and I found a copy there. But now I just have to figure out how to print it because, um, well, I need to go to a print shop. I need to bring my flash drive, but I can't find my flash drive. This is the state of my desk right now. Um, I thought the flash drive would be in here but it does not seem to be. So it's probably somewhere in this mess. Um, so that's what I have to find in order to print that form. <laughs> okay, I found my flash drive, um, but more fun is that I found um, one partial chocolate bar, two partial chocolate bars, a full chocolate bar, and another full chocolate bar. Actually, I knew I had these two actually, but, um, the other ones was fun to find. Um, and also um, a bag of chocolate covered peanuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's fun. Um, I really need to clean here. Um, Alejandro tells me like every time he comes in, not every time, but like often when he comes in here, he's like, because having a dirty room is another cardinal sin here. Um, especially an unmade bed. I don't know why. But like, if your bed isn't made, that's like the greatest scandal. So I'll throw everything on the floor and then sleep. Um, this is a business card. No, it's not actually. Oh my God. This is <laughs> when I was in college, I went to this frozen yogurt place all the time and it was like not close. It was like, I mean, it wasn't horrendously far, but it was like a 30 minute walk from um where i lived but i went there all the time and i went there in the dead of winter mind you i walked in two feet of snow to go here <laughs> and it was the dead of winter so i was always like the only one there or like whoever i went with we were the always the only ones there and it was really fun and um so i would always get these like discounts like buy however many and get like 250 off or get 250 off after six purchases of three dollars or more and it's like impossible to spend less than $3 there. So I would spend like $6 every single time. And then this is the last card I got. And I only had one more to go. I'm going to go back here someday when I'm like old. I'm going to like visit campus to be like, oh, I'm an alumnus or alumna or alum, some sort of alum person. And um, I used to go here. And then I'm gonna go to get frozen yogurt. I was planning on visiting my cousin at some point because she went there for a semester, but then she transferred. Or actually, I kind of low-key think she just dropped out. Um, but anyway, so I can't do that. Um, I also found like 900 receipts. 90% of them are from Superdino. Um, they say Iberdino, but they're from Superdino. 
Okay, so anyways, I have one from Ikea. I went to Ikea the other day um, to get some sheets and things. That one's from the ATM. Flying Tiger, that's a nice change. Uh, Pull and Bear. Pull and Bear, I got shirts there. This one's from a restaurant. <laughs> a wasabi pea. <laughs> um, real money. Chocolate money. More chocolate money. Um, TBH, I did not know I had that. Um, my New York State ID. <laughs> the top of a chocolate ice cream, like a, a pint of chocolate ice cream. I did not know that was there. Um, ketchup from McDonald's. I literally don't even know when the last time I went to McDonald's was, so I do not know how long I've had that. Oh my goodness. We have to go through my receipts though because we're um, figuring out this weekend how much money we all owe each other in the house or well in the apartment so i have to go through my receipts and see what i've bought oh that's gonna be a bother and a half okay i just got done going through all my receipts and i forgot uh what my original objective was uh which was to download that form onto my flash drive so i can take it to a print shop my computer does not allow usbs normally so i have this thing i have this gem which just says world war ii and literally nothing else okay, so i downloaded that form onto my flash drive now either later today or sometime early next week i need to go to the print shop and get this printed out i need to get copies of my housing contract and i think copies of my passport i have to do laundry now So these are the books I'm ordering because it's Black Friday and they're on sale. Well, I've been wanting these two for a really long time and these three just looked really good. So um, we'll see. Not for a long time though because I'm sending them home and I'm not going home until July or maybe late June. I just got back like a half hour ago. Okay, so my thoughts on the ballet. It was cool. There wasn't an orchestra, and I thought there was gonna be an orchestra, but they just had a recording that they were playing on like a speaker. And the speaker wasn't that loud either. So like you could hear every time that they like they landed on a jump or something. Cynthia, stop texting me. I'm so busy. Cynthia and her boyfriend are still out. She said the place they're at closed at 4 30, so maybe they'll be home soon. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm so tired. The the ballet, yeah. Okay, so I feel like the prince was like the main character, but he was like the least important character in the whole ballet. Like, I don't know. I just feel like he didn't do anything. He was just like there. The jester, I feel like the jester had more like, stage time. Like the jester danced way more than the prince did. Um, And the villain guy, he was really good too. Odette was cool. I looked up the story of Swan Lake before I went. Odette is supposed to die in the end. And so today when I was watching the ballet, um, the bad guy was like, you know, going after her and she fell down and I was like, oh, this is where she dies. But then the prince like runs after the bad guy and like kills him, I guess, because he fell down. And then Odette just like pops back up and she and the prince like strut around and like, they're like, oh, look at us. We're so happy and in love. And then it ended. And I was like, this can't be the, wait, this, this can't be the end though, because she's not dead. Like why? <laughs> but no, it like was the end. They just like changed the ending of Swan Lake. But yeah, it was really cool. I like, I like ballet. I'm a ballet girly. Then um, I walked home from ballet. Everyone was at my, at my apartment and they were like pre-gaming and stuff. But I basically just like came in and like everyone, like we all went out together. And so first we went to a pool hall basically, but it was it was fun though because I liked playing pool and there weren't that many people there because whenever you play pool in the bar it's so annoying because there's so many people and they get in your way and you can't actually play it fun. Um, but this was nice. 
because there weren't that many people and it was like a whole just like place to play pool with like 20 pool tables um so that was cool and my team won twice then after that we went to the discoteca of the one of the guys we were with his dad owns it and we went there because we could get in for free i don't actually like discotecas so i like basically wanted to go as soon as we got there and the guy whose dad like it was who owned it he left immediately after getting us in he just he's like i don't like these discotecas bye and, but i didn't even know he was leaving or else i would have gone with him because i don't like him either but so then he and one other guy left and well we there were nine of us all together um me my sister our roommate two of our friends my sister's boyfriend and three of his friends and we stayed for like not that long maybe a half hour and then we went to where they were because they, they were hanging out somewhere else so then um we went and hung out with them for a little bit and then cynthia and her boyfriend and our two other friends and one of his friends i should give everyone names that'd be easier but whatever anyways they all went to a different discoteca and we me and my roommate and um the two that were already there stayed there and so we just like talked and hung out for a little bit and then the cops started coming so like okay we were outside like in a park and that like particular area of the park is like really like known for like, public drinking which is illegal in spain so the cops were coming to like yell at people basically but i don't even think they were yelling at people for drinking i think they were yelling at people for like smoking weed and stuff but anyway, I was like, oh, I hope they don't come over here because I don't have ID. I keep getting in trouble for not having ID. But they just went right by us. Um, so then my roommate left. And then a little bit later, one of the guys left. So then it was just two of us. We stayed for a while and just like talked to them. And then we went home. And so I got home at like 3.30, I think. Mm, 3.45, I don't know. And I'm so tired. And I have Thanksgiving tomorrow and I have to cook pie. I think I'm gonna go early so I can cook um, at their house because I don't have an oven at mine. Bye.